All right, this is round two against Garich. Garich one. Uh, this is not a mulligan, obviously, because I do have like two very good three drops to start bashing him, and then if I draw into Mullins, I do have Smite the Monsters and Gallows Rodden. If not, I am probably drawing like stuff that I can play with three three mana anyway. So I see no reason to mulligan. He did mulligan to six card, and he is playing first. So that's good news. Alright, another red deck. Yeah, <laughs> this is the card that I want to draw <laughs> in this three planes hand. But well, eventually it is going to be very good. Alright, blue red. Yeah, keep drawing the <laughs> five drops, six drops. Hopefully this trend will stop soon enough alright he missed his third land drop which is good news for us and ooh, now we really have to like draw into a island here because if he uh, is stuck on two mana whenever he play a creature here we are most definitely gonna grasp it right away but at this point we are just playing a voiceless spirit see what he has to say about that Apparently nothing. Alright, he did not draw his land, which is good news for us. We didn't draw our fourth land either, but... Alright, silent departure, sure. Yeah, never mind, I will, I will play a Chapel Geist. <laughs> because I figure Chapel Geist is immune to his... Uh, to an eventual Geist Flame he might have. Alright. Travel preps, sure. Let's just bash him with our Chapel Geist. If he lets us. Why is it he has like M12 lands? This is a beautiful mountain, but I hate this island. It's too like CGI for my tastes. Seems like a, f a, f a photograph here. Don't think it. I don't think photographs uh, flatter magic cards as they are. So, yeah, alright. We are going to bring him down to 18 and play a voiceless spirit. Because uh, I figure no reason to just play our Midnight Haunting here. We could, like, just surprise him later in the game. Or maybe just play next turn, which is probably what we're going to do. Alright, if we draw an island here, I am definitely grasping that. We obviously did not. So we will just like play a land and bash. Oh man, now now he's going he's going to draw lots of stuff here. Although if he like uh, discards a creature here and bashes us, we have our smite the monsters here, or even like a midnight haunting, right? To like just block him. Yeah, I figure like midnight haunting is probably just almost strictly better here because we will like kill his guy either way and have a 1-1 one -one to attack with and leave our removal here in case he has some kind of some sort of dragon or stuff what is that ooh I see enchanting myself sure hopefully we will get to kill him before that matters Hopefully, oh man, I can see that. He's going to, like, mill my islands, see? <laughs> but we do have a feeling of dread, but, well, yet, no islands. Yeah, that that is good. I am going to bash him with my team, and then play a Silver Chase Fox. To, blo to, to either block him, or just remove his enchantment. Seems fine. He's at 8 at this point. He, like, he has to play a creature here if he wants to, to be alive, I guess. Let's see what he discards. Curse of the Bloody Tome. I have never, like, 
played the oh Japanese on blade have have never managed oh I see oh man that's very unfortunate but what can we do let's just remove his enchantment there yeah blasphemous act got me land at the very least all right no land <laughs> our luck hasn't changed a land here would would be good because we would be able to play a gallows warden Ooh, that guy is getting killed just as soon as he deals two damage to me. Let's smite him. All right, <laughs> and and it's a plane, obviously. So yeah, let's play our gallows warden here. Maybe next turn draw an island to just bounce whatever he plays. What is that? I see. Pitch burn devils. That's a good one to bounce. Alright. That is what I'm gonna do. I mean, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, well. well I cannot play m the only other card that I can play here is civil Civilized Scholar and at this point yeah like I can use Grasp right now because I do have like a feeling of dread in my graveyard that I can use to just remove potential blockers he might play eventually two turns from now uh, but yeah let's Grasp of Phantoms this guy He's gonna draw his own guy there. Play it again, hopefully. Oh, all right, claustrophobia. Sure. Salador. Yeah, I don't think that card is a very good one. All right, we are playing an unruly mob and a civili civilized scholar. We will even be able to like discard our travel preparations here if we really need to. Otherwise we can just discard a creature and just tap whatever blockers he has with our feeling of dread. Hopefully he, he will play another creature here. Alright, he did. So ooh, I like that. Let's see what we can do about this here voiceless spirit sure I think we can just like discard a travel preps and play a voiceless spirit and travel prepar and play a travel, pre travel pre preparations into our unruly mob and voiceless spirit this leaves hi him dead on board I think because I can just discard a card next turn or we, we can we could just do it now but he, yeah he, he has this thing here <laughs> which means that he can probably get a token as bad as that card is I, I think this means that I can go for it now I can just like uh, untap my guy here tap his guy then bash because Alright, I could do that actually because let's think for a second here. If we discarded a, a Mother of Crows, then our guy would be uh, untapped. We would then attack with both. Yeah. Yeah, he could like just not play this ability and wait till I feel enough to add his guy. So yeah, I don't think it's worth the risk here. He has two cards in hand. I've, I mean, we are probably going to win eventually here no matter what. So I'm going to play like a Geist Honored Monk, I think. Maybe he has like a... Uh, dissipate. You know what? I think I'm going to just play a Voiceless Spirit. And then I will... Uh, travel preparations, unruly mob, and voiceless spirit. 
seems good. No reason to show him our geist if we don't need to, or to expose it to his dissipate. Are we attacking here? Maybe. Yeah, why not? If he gets lucky there with his zombie, then whatever. Alright, he didn't. Man, this guy is so bad, I think. Hopefully he does not have more mass removal here to deal with our guys. What is that? Guy sketches rig. Deal. At this point we are just obviously going to tap his guy and get in there with this guy. Let's see. Draw a card, then we're gonna discard our Mother of Cross probably. Yeah. So we are going to I mean we could even do that, yeah. Like play this. Try and attach it to that guy. If that's successful then we are definitely feeling of dread. Playing feeling of dread here. And getting in there. Alright, so it appears we won game one. He's a blue red deck, kinda controlish, kinda bombish, and kinda playing some bad cards too. <laughs> Which being orb? <laughs> Maybe he has like a ton of curses. Not sure. Don't feel like I uh, need to uh, bring this in just now. I mean, I, I don't really need to deal with his orbs. I mean, with his curses, I don't think. And, well... Runic repetition... Nah. Yeah, I think our deck is good as is. We could, if we see more curses from him, bring in a Witchbane Arbor too. <laughs> that would be interesting at the very least. Does he have a lot of cards that target us? I don't think he does. Uh, yeah, I don't think he does. Alright, let's just play it like this. And if we run into trouble here, we could bring in uh, an orb. Alright, this is not a mulligan at all. I mean, first play turn 4, sure, that's bad. <laughs> but, we do have like two big bombs here. I mean, this is not a big bomb, but this is a bomb, I think. At, at the very least, it's a very good card. He's playing first. And he doesn't seem like a very ex uh, a fast deck. Alright. Uh, let's start out with the planes. Hopefully we will draw like a fox here, just in order to have some turn 2 play. <laughs> yeah, we would have drawn a fox if he hadn't milled us. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what else he has here. Mill the planes, sure. curse. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think that I should indeed bring in a uh, Witchbane Arm. <laughs> Let's see if he plays something worth my time here. Something that I could... Alright, thankfully he he just milled a guy sketches rig from us here. Alright. Feeling of Dread, that's nice. And Voiceless Spirit, well, I kind of went to that, but... Question is, do I play a Slayer of the Wicked? I do not think so. But I will play a Demon Mail Holbrook here. To try and get him big. I mean, I'm not winning this game unless I try to race him pretty hard here. And, well... Let's see if he manages to play something worth our time here. He didn't. Sure. 
Hopefully we will draw land here at this point. Ooh, there goes our forest. And our second fox. That's bad. And, well, here is our second forest. Yeah, at this point we have to play a Geist. No reason not to. I mean, he may have dissipate, but... I don't think it's in our best interest to uh, just hold back here when he has us on a very tight clock. I mean, next turn, what I'm going to do is play in flashback travel preps. Ooh, vampires. Yeah. Never mind. What I'm going to, going to do is... Well... I think what I'm going to do is play as a layer of, of the wicket and then attach the Momeo Holbrook into a spirit here. Alright, let's play as layer of the wicked. Oh no. I can still travel perhaps here, so let's do this right. Alright. Yes, I'd like to use the ability. I would like also to do this. And, well, I have 14 cards in my library, so I would very much like to do this and try and just get big here. He's gonna take 11 damage here at this point. Down to 9 and hopefully he does not have anything to do here because if he like plays a creature we do have our dear old feeling of dread here in our library, in our graveyard. Oh alright. Yeah I figured <laughs> you can play that. See what we draw. We drew a planes. Sure. Mother of Crows. I'm gonna play and equip a blazing torch here. Yeah, I don't think we will be able. I mean, we probably will be able to race him here because of our travel preps. And that's going to be sweet because, <laughs> well, I'm going to be almost dead. Let's see what he does. Hopefully a big guy here. Oh, man, not that big guy. Yes, yeah, so I think we're just dead here. We're nine cards, then we are going to... Yeah, and, and he's even going to mill us with the Trepanation Blade, right? So, yeah... Let's see, we have, at this point, six cards in our library. It's, uh, five, four, three, two, one with the card we are going to draw. So, yeah, I guess... Yeah, I still don't think we are winning here, but can hurt to try. All right. We have to play all in here actually because I want to leave mana open to flashback the feeling of dread. Let's see what he has to say here. Alright, he's milling. Yeah. I better just see what he has here too. Maybe he does have like some flashback card. He has one card in hand at the very least. We could still get big here. Uh, we, yes, we are playing Feeling of Dread there. Okay, for one target, sure. Still think there is no way we are winning. But, well, might as well play it out. Voiceless Spirit. <sighs> oh man. So at this point we can like deal 8 damage to him. Man, that sucks. If only this guy had like vigilance, then we would be able to just fling this torch into his face. So yeah, we could like play a voiceless spirit, then flashback to our preparation, sacrifice our voiceless spirit. This requires the creature to tap, yeah. So, our guy will be a 4-4, four, four, then an, an 8-6, and that is just not going to be enough. Man, that sucks. 
this can yeah this can cannot put two counters on the same creature so we are just going to concede here yeah right at this point I think I'm bringing a witch pain orb <laughs> as bad as that seems uh, we are taking what not a guy sketchers rig I don't think not a gallows warden maybe a demon meal hallbreak I'm not sure blazing torch curiosity maybe curiosity Stitch's Apprentice, yeah, this doesn't seem like a very good card against him, so let's just bring a, bring an orb here and see how we do. Could even bring like two orbs, but if, I feel that would be like overkill. I didn't see any uh, targeted milling cards here except for his, his curse. Alright, this is definitely not a mulligan. I will try to get big with Midnight Haunting and then Curiosity here. Let's start with a Blames. Yeah, we're facing the mill deck. Alright, no turn to place, please. This time. I'm kind of fi uh, trying to figure out here if it's better to just play my Voice Face Spirit or Midnight Haunting. I figure Midnight Haunting is better because at this point I know his deck. I know he has like stuff that can uh, bounce my guy here to uh, stall me. Ooh, that's a nice one. Hopefully he he'll like just tap out here for a uh, for a curse, and I will play my Midnight Haunting and get to play Curiosity. Alright, or a Civilized Scholar. So let's just play Midnight Haunting. Then we are going to play Curiosity on one of our tokens and hope to draw into a land here. So that we can play our Voiceless Spirit. I don't think I'm even like attacking with this guy because well, it's only one damage and I have to leave it back to maybe block this guy, otherwise I mean five damage is a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's draw a card. Yes. And yes, that is that is acceptable. I do need like a planes here to play my guy Sonnet Monk. But at this point I'm happy because I get to grasp a phantoms, I get to smite the monsters or slayer of the wicked. If he like doesn't have a fourth land here, I'll be pretty happy. Alright, he's going to silent departure my curiosity guy. Sure. Discarded a mountain. Curse. Oh no, Selhof Occultist. Sure. Oh man, we cannot play this, right? So I think our play here is sim to simply uh, put this guy up there on top of his library and bash with our folks here okay he's going to draw his guy maybe play like a vampire <laughs> no he did not play a vampire he's probably just gonna play his guy again ooh peach burn devils oh yeah I mean man thing is, I'm kind of afraid that if I play my guy Stoner Monk, he will remove, <laughs> uh, he will play a, a Blasphemous Act here, but he he has th stuff to lose here, right? He has two creatures, so yeah, I think we could, we can afford to do that. And two more lands till we can flash back the Grasp of Phantoms. You know what, if he actually attacks with his devils, I think I'm even going to block here. I mean, he can kill my monk, sure, but well... Whatever, I'm still bashing him in the air. And if he does kill my monk, I mean, there will be one, two, three, four, five creatures, yeah. He, he would st still be able to play his big thing there. Uh, apparently he does not have it. Alright, he's gonna play a civil civilized scholar. If he attacks, I'm most definitely blocking. 
Ooh, man, that's that is nasty. All right, let's try that. Sacrifice a token to attach that to our spirit here. Yeah, you can mill me for one. I don't care. So we are going to bash him. I'm going to leave this guy back here because I, I don't want him to actually kill my voiceless spirit at this point. But yeah, he's going down to 5 here. Which means that he may be just dead. Unless he drew his uh, wrath. His, his blasphemous act. He does have an, an additional draw step here because of his civilized scholar. But still, that's probably the the one card that saves his that's that saves him here, because we do have like two narrow removal spells that can probably deal with whatever he plays, like a vampire and leave it back, a fucking wrath marauders, leaving it back to just chain block until he can dig for his wrath. All right. He discarded an island. He probably has the Marauders here, but our Slayer of the Wicked w will be will come in pretty handy. If he does Wrath here, I am not going to play Slayer of the Wicked, because I figure he could very well have the Vampire in, in hand or just draw it, and it will be yeah pretty tough for me to be that. I mean, not really, because I do have this Mighty Monsters, but yeah, alright. I'm convinced. If he does play a Wrath here, I am playing my Slayer of the Wicked. Falcon Wrath? One time? One time the card that I need him to play, come on. Ooh, Silent Departure, sure. Well, I don't think that is going to work here, because... Alright, you can bash me all you want. I am going to sacrifice my spirit. Alright, uh, let's put this here. Sacrificing what? Maybe even my Geist here, right? Yeah, I think it's it's fine to sacrifice my Geist because if he does have like a, a, the one mana removal, a uh, Geist Flame here, he can just target my guy and then I can just play a voiceless spirit and sack my voiceless spirit to equip this guy which also ha also has flying so yeah I think I'm just gonna sacrifice my monk let's see what he has to say about that alright so I think we got there awesome Alright, this was an awesome uh, match, I think. His deck is, well, he, he plays some underdrafted cards, the meal cards, <laughs> but, well, he almost got there, so. Alright, see you in the finals.